what's up thank you so much for watching circuits for jar so today we are going to convert 230 volt ac into 5 volt dc as you know that in our homes we get 230 volt ac but in most of our electronics projects or electronic gadgets we need 5 volt like if i talk about to charge our mobile phone as well we need 5 volt so today we will learn how to convert 230 volt ac into 5 volt dc uh, i'll explain you the circuit diagram and then i'll make that circuit for you so that you can use that 5 volt in your project or anything where you need that voltage we are going to convert 230 volt ac into 5 volt dc so the very first step to convert 230 volt uh, ac into 5 volt dc is a step down transformer which will down the voltage uh, so for example this is 230 volt ac this is 230 volt ac this is transformer the transformer which we are going to use is a step down transformer right Now this was 230 volt AC and over here it is 212 volt AC because we are going to use step down transformer of 12012 or you can say 012 right you can use central tap transformer as well or you can use simple transformer as well of 012 voltage right the next step 12 volt AC but our purpose is to convert 230 volt AC into 5 volt DC right the next step is bridge wire rectifier so in bridge wire rectifier you are using four diode so you can take four diodes and place in this configuration like this so these are the four diodes the number of four diodes you can take in 4007 okay now the ac will go to these two point where the negative of one diode is meeting to positive of another diode, right? So this is one AC connection and another AC connection where negative of one diode is meeting to the positive of another diode will be this AC connection. Now, the positive plus voltage will come out of these two points where negative of two diodes are meeting and the negative will come from where uh, the po uh, positive of two diodes are meeting. So uh, this is negative, right? And this is positive so as you know that the output of visual rectifier is not pure dc it have ripples as well as fluctuations so you have to use capacitor as a filter over here so we are going to use a capacitor of what value i'll uh, tell you later now as i told you our main purpose is to convert 230 volt ac into 5 volt dc so for that thing you have to use a voltage regulator there are lots of voltage regulator exist in the market like uh, if i talk about uh, 7805 it's capable of converting this is the basic configuration of voltage regulator this is input output and this is ground and uh, there are lots of voltage regulator available 7805 7809 7812 7815 right these last word 591215 is denoting the voltage which you will get from the voltage regulator similarly for your extra knowledge, there are 7905, 7909, 7912, 7915. So these will provide minus voltage, negative, like negative, 5 volt negative, 9 volt negative, 12 volt negative, 15 volt. And these will provide plus 5 volt, plus 9 volt plus 12 volt plus 15 volt okay so i am going to use 7805 voltage regulator over here as i already told you our main purpose in this circuit is to convert 12 volt uh, sorry to 30 volt ac into 5 volt dc so this is 7805 and here we will use another capacitor as well so that if there is any fluctuations available then that fluctuations will be bypassed by this another capacitor and the capacitor these two capacitors you can have to use in 10 ratio 1 so this is the best ratio okay in this 10 ratio 1 uh, the filtering is best as i already told you our main purpose using capacitor over here is filtering and to store charge because whatever the application you will drive from this 5 volt so if there is a sudden requirement of current so that current will be supplied by these two capacitors as well particularly this one as well and this one as well right so you can use capacitor of 100 microfarad and 10 microfarad and the voltage you will get over here 
is plus 5 volt and this is the ground line as you know that you cannot see current through naked eye so you can use a led so that you will came to know that you have successfully converted uh, 12 volt into sorry 230 volt ac into 5 volt dc so this is the two pin connector on these two pin connector there is a 5 volt okay and ground so you can use a led as well in parallel which will be just an indication that you have successfully converted 230 volt ac into 5 volt dc so this led will glow and the resistor 100 ohm why because as you know that you cannot drive led directly on 5 volts so you have to use resistor which is of 100 ohm so that there will be a voltage drop across this resistor and then this led will glow right if you will directly uh, provide led to this 5 volt then this led will burn out after some time because led you cannot run led of like 3 mm 2 mm on 5 volt directly you have to use a resistor so that there will be a voltage drop over there right these two capacitors for the filtering this resistor for the voltage drop so that you can drive the led this rectifier uh, for the rectification to convert ac into dc right and this is the transformer which will down the voltage from 230 volt ac to 12 volt ac so this is simple circuit diagram to convert 23 volt ac into 5 volt dc so this 5 volt dc you can use to charge your mobile phone and to uh, for the other applications as well so this is very simple circuit if you want to take snapshot you can take snapshot of this circuit diagram otherwise i am going to attach this circuit diagram in the description as well you can take this snapshot so guys uh, we have inserted these components according to the circuit diagram I have explained to you on the board. So these are the four diodes and this is the perforated PCB actually, right? This PCB uh, have holes inside and uh, these are the four diodes. These four diodes acting as a visual rectifier. So we will connect them uh, through soldering iron, okay, below the PCB. And uh, this, these are the two capacitors. Okay, this is 1000 microfarad capacitor, this is 100 microfarad capacitor and this is the 7805 voltage regulator. This voltage regulator will uh, provide 5 volt at the output because output of the rectifier is 12 volt. So this voltage regulator will provide 5 volt at the output and these two capacitors will filter out the output of the rectifier because as you know that the output of rectifier is not pure DC, it has ripples as well as fluctuations. So to need to, uh, they are uh, need to be bypassed or you can say they need to be destroyed so that you will get the pure DC at the output. And this is the LED which will show us uh, as an indicator uh, like you have successfully converted to 30 volt AC into 5 volt DC and the very first step is transformer so this is the transformer this is the primary winding of the transformer right and this is the secondary winding this is central tap transformer right central tap means it have three wires it is 12 0 12 so you need only 0 12 wire this is the 0 12 wire so this wire you will cut down and you will use 0 12 wire and uh, this is primary this is secondary right uh, we have already made some connections so that uh, we won't take much time in the video and this is the input cable which will provide 230 volt ac to this transformer so now we are going to build uh, this circuit so that uh, i can show you the output uh, of the circuit as i told you our main purpose is to convert 230 volt ac into 5 volt dc <coughs> so this is the circuit which have which we have made right uh, this this is the uh, soldering I have done below the circuit right you can done it it's very easy okay not any complexity <laughs> uh, this is the connector where you will provide your uh, bridge uh, your transformer output this is the bridge rectifier and this is the filter circuit this is 7805 voltage regulator you can use heatsink as well if you are uh, using 12 volt over here if you are using 9 volt then there is no much use of heatsink but still it is always safe to use a heatsink on this 7805 voltage regulator because as you know that if 12 volt is coming and 5 volt, 5 volt is the output of the 7805 then the remaining 7 volt will be dissipated in the form of heat so uh, so that there will be a smooth flow of heat in the environment so you must need a voltage uh, heatsink over here so that that heat can be transferred in the environment so you can use big size heatsink as well so you can see <coughs> you know some other projects as well uh, because 7805 is very common component you will use this component 7805 voltage regulator almost in each and every project which is needed 5 volt okay because it is very cheap instead of SMC, smps power supply using 7805 is always a cheap option okay or uh, best economic option i must say um, this is the led this led will uh, show you as an indicator so now i am going to test whether this circuit is working or not so this is the transformer right so i will provide 230 volt ac uh, So this is 12 volt AC output. Now 
यू कैन सी एल इज ग्लोइंग इट मीन्स देर इज ए फाइव वोल्ट सो आई कैन मेजर दिस फाइव वोल्ट थ्रू द मल्टीमीटर एज वेल राइट सो नाउ एज यू नो दैट दिस एल्यूमिनियम पार्ट ऑफ सेवन एट जीरो फाइव इज ए ग्राउंड सो आई विल प्लेस दिस पिन आई हैव सेट मल्टीमीटर आई हैव सेट मल्टीमीटर ऑन द डी सी वोल्टेज राइट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू मेजर वेदर फाइव वोल्ट इज जनरेटेड और नोट सो दिस इज डी सी वोल्टेज आई हैव सेट ऑन ट्वेंटी नाउ आई विल पुट दिस लीड ऑन द थर्ड पिन सो वोल्टेज इज फाइव पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स ओके दिस इज द ग्राउंड एंड दिस इज द आउटपुट बिन एज आई टोल्ड यू देर आर थ्री पिन इनपुट ग्राउंड एंड आउटपुट सो वी नीड टू मेजर आउटपुट राइट सो इट मस्ट बी फाइव वोल्ट सो दिस इज द ग्राउंड एंड दिस इज द आउटपुट फाइव वोल्ट सो इट्स फाइव वोल्ट एक्जैक्टली सो दिस इज नियरली प्योर डी सी फाइव वोल्ट सो दिस वॉज द रिक्वायर्ड रिजल्ट ऑफ अवर प्रोजेक्ट सो यू कैन यूज दिस फाइव वोल्ट टू चार्ज यूर मोबाइल फोन यू कैन मेक सम कूल प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग दिस फाइव वोल्ट सो इट्स ए वेरी सिंपल एंड इकोनॉमिक सर्किट ओके टू बिल्ड टू थर्टी वोल्ट ए सी स्टेप डाउन इन टू ट्वेल्व वोल्ट ए सी यूजिंग दिस स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर फिल्टर सर्किट वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर एंड देन यू हैव जनरेटेड फाइव वोल्ट आउटपुट सो दिस इज वेरी कूल प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन मेक दिस प्रोजेक्ट एट योर होम विद इन हाफ आवर एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट to build this project so you can let me know in the comment box i will help you and uh, if you like the video you can subscribe my channel for more such feature videos 